Hello everyone, welcome to Best Side Cycling. I'm here at Seward Park where it actually just started hailing a little bit. Um, I'm trying to get a ride in before the freeze comes over, but it looks like some of the winter weather is already here. So I'm probably gonna have to make this quicker than expected, but that's quite all right. But what I wanted to show you today was actually just my winter bike setup, but you can sort of see that it's sort of wind, really windy right now. The whole flap just came up. Uh, so, but just wanted to go through some of this and uh, basically all the features that I've added over the past while to make this my very steady Seattle commuter. Um, so first of all, what bike is it? This is a aluminum road bike. This is the Giant Contend. So it's sort of like their entry sort of line, but uh, it's with uh, Shimano 105s, hydraulic disc brakes, sort of those works. So that's sort of what we're working with. It's sort of, if anything, just like an endurance road bike frame. And then, yeah, let's get into a lot of the things I've added first off. M most importantly, it's probably the rack and fenders. So uh, here I have some of these full coverage uh, fenders from, I think, uh, Planet Works is it? And then these are aluminum. Uh, goes all the way down. So these give me really great coverage uh, throughout the old winter. You can see in the back here and the really crucial part is this tail piece. I find that this is what actually helps to collect a ton of the water. And then in terms of the rack here, uh, there's many different racks you can use, but this is uh, the uh, Addict one from Rack Time. And uh, yeah, I really like it because it's supportive with this rack time system. So it's really easy just to take these bags on and off. All it is is sort of this quick release here and then you can um, pull it on and off and that's it. So, and then as well, you can just use normal panniers with it. And I put all my uh, bikes with the same sort of system so that I can switch them from bike to bike. So you'll see that if you've ever seen any of my other videos. And then yeah, maybe you go into the cockpit. There's a lot going on here, but there's mainly a front light I got from Amazon. Oh, it's really hailing now. But uh, yeah, this is just a front light from Amazon. I really like it because uh, what it's mounted onto here, I'll show you, is actually from Insta360. It's what they call their uh, bike uh, kit, or sorry, bike mount kit. <laughs> and yeah, it comes with this, this little piece here, this quarter mount is for is for a Insta360 sort of camera, but I can use it with my GoPros as well as there's like a GoPro mount here on the top. So it gives you two mounting points that are really stable at the front. So I just sort of keep it on for when I want to film or whatnot. So that gives me the uh, stem in order to put the bike computer here. I use a 1040, it's really big, but I've come to really appreciate it just because I can basically see everything and it's like really big screen. So it's like really easy to read. And then you'll see on my bar ends here, I actually have two, two mirrors. So um, it's pretty neat because it's like, especially for this left one, it's very useful for me to just look behind me without having to turn my head. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly what it might look like while you're riding, but basically just sit out here and uh, it's, just, it's a pretty big sort of surface to look at. All right, another wind gust is coming. So I'm gonna hold the bike down as everything comes up. Uh, don't worry, I have, uh, I brought, I should have enough warm kit here for me to survive this little hail, but uh, it sort of makes, gives, gives some character to this video. So let's keep going and um, finish off uh, pieces of the bike. And that would be uh, the middle here. Uh, I mean, everyone has their two mounts here, but we might wonder what this one is. And this is actually for my folding lock. So I use a Bordeaux, I think it's called the 6800. So it fits right in there perfectly for me to carry it around. And yeah, and that's, and oh, before I forget, yeah. yeah. Also the pedals here. This was a choice I made just recently, which is to move to SPDs. Um, I really just love riding clipless, but I also didn't like the idea of, um, of uh, always having my road shoe with these, especially getting the wet and always having to commute and walk around. So yeah, I got these. Uh, these are the XTRs. And the reason why I had XTRs on here is because they come in a shorter uh, spindle length. So that for me is really important because the regular SPD is actually longer than the SPD SL. So for me, a smaller guy, it's important to get as narrow as possible. But yeah, I think that's really it for in terms of like all the little choices I made with this bike. And uh, in terms of like, in terms of how I use it and everything, it's basically my winter slash commuter bike, um, sort of my do everything and sort of my filming bike as well and what I use to go into these conditions. Um, 
Honestly, if I were only to have one bike, and I know at this point I have a lot of bikes, so I might make a video about all those other ones, this is the bike I would want because this is the bike that I can basically take with me wherever I want and ride it around and uh, not worry about anything. And it's really nice to have an aluminum bike, especially commuting on the east side, because you oftentimes need to make use of those uh, vehicle sensors on the ground and they usually won't detect uh, carbon bikes as much. But yeah, it looks like this hail is keeping the go. So I'm gonna get riding, uh, try to get back to warmer, warmer conditions. Okay, I thought I was just going on a normal ride, but it's a total sort of windstorm and hail uh, sort of in my face. So this is my hail protection, and we're gonna just keep on riding now. But yeah, I managed to survive that hail storm, and then now we're at the I-90 bridge where. Uh, another great thing about this bike is that it's way heavier than my normal setup. So for me, a lighter rider really helps in the crosswind. So I can also use that here in this case. Uh, I'm just gonna try it out. If it's too sketchy, I'm probably gonna stop. But yep, <laughs> another great way. Another reason why I love uh, this particular setup for the whole winter months. No worries though, since I did end up making it home completely safe. But yeah, definitely take it easy if you run into conditions like this and I'll see you all in the next video.